We're heading into the centre of a mouse's brain, into the hippocampus where memories are formed. Looking up, you can see neurons projecting to the surface of the brain. This is the work of Carl Dyseroth and his team at Stanford University. By making the entire brain transparent, they were able to image it using a light microscope. They call the new technique clarity. Existing techniques for studying the brain's wiring are often limited to looking at very small volumes of brain, or they don't allow you to label genes or chemicals of interest. The advantage of clarity is that you can label lots of molecules in whole brains. So how do you make a brain transparent? The thing that obscures the view is fat. Lipid layers surround each cell. To remove them without disrupting the cell structure, the team used a hydrogel to create a mesh to hold the rest of the components in place. Then they could clear away the fat. This is a mouse brain before and after. The brain is now transparent to light, but it's also permeable to molecules, which means scientists can add molecular markers to highlight specific features. In this one millimetre block of hippocampus, excitatory neurons are green, inhibitory neurons are red, and cells called astrocytes are blue. The technique works in human brains too. This is a chunk of the frontal lobe of a seven-year-old boy who had autism. It's possible to trace the path of a single nerve projection through a forest of other cells. When the team looked closely in one layer of the cortex, they noticed ladder-like patterns where neurons had connected back to themselves and to other neurons. Similar abnormal structures have been seen in animals with autism-like behaviours. Being able to analyse brain structures like this and match them up with molecular information could help neuroscientists uncover how changes to the brain underlie disease. And it's not just the brain. The researchers say the technique could be applied to any organ. <laughs>